Hey gang, Scott here. Quick tip for you with the refine brush and on one for selecting objects. Uh, this is when you know super select is just struggling. It's having a difficult time. Maybe the scene is complex. I have an example here. I'll show you where the refine brush. You can use that to select objects, and you may want to tailor the mode of the brush as well. Let me show you what's going on here. I have this image of this uh, ice in, uh, in, in Iceland, and I want to add some dynamic contrast to just the foreground ice, kind of like, you know, what's what's roughly, let's call it the horizon of this photo and this, this bit jutting here. So that jumps out a little bit more. Now, uh, you know, first thought is to go grab Super Select, but this is a complicated scene. Sky is fine. Background, kind of okay, but I'm starting to get pieces here. But then in this ice, it's it, Super Select is just confused. There's there's a lot of different tones. There's not um, some obvious shapes. You know, icebergs and things. They are you know amorphous. They can take on any shape whatsoever. So the uh, the Super Select struggles with that. Well, instead, uh, I can use whoops, I can use the Refine brush. And so let's go ahead and I want to do dynamic contrast. And for illustrative purposes, I'm going to push this up hard. I'm not going to use surreal for the final uh, image, but so you can see right now, dynamic contrast is everywhere. So what can I do about targeting the ice? The refine brush. Now the refine brush has a mode called encircle mode. So I'll choose my masking tools, make sure I have the refine brush selected. Paint out is fine. I can always invert my masks. The method I want to check the method. Here I'm interested in isolating this uh, this you know, horizon of ice. That has very crisp edges. So I don't want hair and branches where you think about you know soft edges around branches, very intricate. I want hard edges because this is a very, more, uh, very straightforward mask. And now what I'll do is encircle or just trace along the outline of what I'm interested in treating. And so I'll be a little a little sloppy here just so I can get through the video quickly. You don't have to watch me. You know, watching me paint is well like watching me paint. Uh, let's go across the bottom here. Okay, this is a little messy, but you'll get the idea. Where I have this outline and there is an empty bubble in the middle. That empty bubble is important. I've done that. On one, I'll think about the mask for a moment and then find the object and create the mask pressing the O key on my keyboard, you can see what it did for the mask. And sure enough, it was a little sloppy down on the bottom there where I rushed through my mask strokes. But this is a reasonably simple enough cleanup job. And now I can invert my mask. So I'll get my little floating window there. Where's my invert? Right there. And you can see now I have that dynamic contrast targeting just the object that I'm interested in. And for, you know, I'll dial this back to more a natural setting, play with the sliders and so on. But the point for the video is the refine brush, use it in this encircle mode uh, way to identify and find objects in your photo and tailor the method for the object you're trying to isolate. Hope you found the video helpful. You got questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.